What is up, everyone? Whew. Here we are, another beautiful day in paradise. As you can see, it's coming down a little bit of snow today, which provides the perfect opportunity to try and get um, a couple shots that we want for Sammy's documentary, her story. We haven't filmed much of it at all, only a few things. And I know a bunch of people are commenting about it, how they want to hear it, but it'll come out eventually when it's time. And I'm not pushing her into it. I'm just letting her go. You know, whenever she's ready to tell it all, and whenever we have the right shots, we want to make this like a real good, like 30 minute, 40 minute documentary. So we're heading to AC and we're going to get some footage there, like B roll type footage. Probably maybe the opening today um, of the video. Hopefully, if all goes well. But um, we want to do it in the snow, we want to do it in AC, and we want to do it, you know, when it looks like darker out, like this, this type of, so this is the perfect scenario, and we're going to try and get some shots, if not, we probably only have one or two more chances this year to get it in the snow, so that's the plan, and then we're going to come back and un unravel all these scrap pieces here throw them in the trailer. Well, I'm gonna throw these in now. Cause they were just seeming like they were might, maybe gonna fly out, which would not be cool. But take this load, hopefully today, because this has just been sitting here for a while. And then, I don't know. That's pretty much the main plan for today, or as of right now. this piece of art and there was spray paint there 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 and they covered up and painted over all the spray paint but left the wheat paste epic all right we were just getting some gold shots uh, probably won't be in this edit just because they're saving saving them for the the main video but it's pretty glorious out here right now boys a little bit of snow out in the AC inlet. There's the gravel over there. And we're about to score some hot bagels. So, best breakfast place in the world, really. Yeah, I locked it. From the Zang Life? From North Dakota? Yeah. How gnarly is this package gifting? Well, it has to be because they just ruin our packages. No, I'm saying like that this guy's sending all this stuff to us. So gnarly. Oh shit. Almost ran the letter, but I didn't. Tucker and Sammy, here's more to save you some cash. You work so very hard and you're funny. Except when you swear and zoom in on Sammy's booty. Love <laughs> from Grand Forks. Well, 
Don't know if I'm gonna be able to stop zooming in on that baby though. Yeah, you can. Stop? What is that? I don't wanna cut it. It's marshmallows. <laughs> How'd you know that? Just look at it. Uh, good guess. Just make keep this box. It's a good box. Yeah. Sorry. Oh, oh shit. Oh shit, and these ones didn't get ruined. Didn't get ruined. Perfect. Hot cocoa. No. It smells uh, like marshmallows. These are so epic. So epic. Dude, these are nice mugs. They are. Hot chocolate. Gonna be drinking that in a couple minutes. Right? Yeah. And we can make our boiling water in the other thing that he got for us. Mm-hmm. Insane. What's the claim? That hot water thing works really good and really fast. I used it last night. It's <laughs> so fast. So fast. Well, shout out to the North Dakota Thank crew. Because this is heavy. So happy. And we don't mean to curse like on video. It's not like we're doing it for the effect. We're, that's just the way we talk and cutting it all out. Insane much amount of work. But sorry about that. And zooming in on her ass. I mean, I don't know what human would be able to, guy or girl would be able to be around Sammy J all day and not zoom in on her ass. I don't know how that would be real, but if you could do it, I guess. All right, we're about getting ready to take this load to the scrapyard. Uh, it's not a full, full load, but it's been sitting here for a while. Got to get it cleaned out. I want to take down the walls and just kind of clean up the uh, trailer whole deal. So, going to be taking that pretty much right now in the next couple minutes. Just got to get this stuff out of the way, hook up the trailer, and we're pretty much ready to roll. But I got this trailer filled, and then we got all this stuff in these, fully in these packagings, which is all metal. It's all in these. So this is gonna be so gnarly to take apart all this, but it's gotta be done. So all that's metal and all underneath. And then there's mad metal under there too. But each one of these is gonna have to come apart. I might actually keep one pack of this just in case I wanna try and make something out of it. Cause it's literally brand new metal. Like brand new piping for a shelf. But yeah, I'm gonna take one package out of here and put it in the garage for now. Just in case. All right, since my gates have been broken, which has been longer than they weren't broken since I had this trailer, I've been using a back piece like this and just situating it in there just so everything stays from sliding out the back. It's pretty much just a safety precaution because all this stuff's heavy enough where it won't. But um, yeah, that's pretty much the dream right there. I haven't used this trailer in a little bit so I got a lock on it just to keep it from, you know, deterrence if anyone were to try and steal it on some crazy feat of insanity. That's all. This thing is really gnarly though right now. Wow.
stuck on there for good. Really good. We're gonna try and back up and hook up the trailer. It's a uh, heavy claim to try and get this thing on here first try. Or any try, really. Cause it's gnarly. Let's see what we're looking at. That was the first try. So how far off are we? Not very. I just back right under it. All right, that was actually really easy. We're locked in on this baby. That's all a little bit gnarly, but that thing shuts on it. You just plug in your, your lights, brake lights mainly, and it's turning signal, turn signals. My thing's broken off as you guys can see. So it's just a little piece of metal right there. Usually a piece of plastic would cover it. I don't know if it's plugged in. And then you just clip these on. So it makes a cross like opposite of where they are hooked. Well they're hooked on the side they go on. But it's opposite of there. Put this little piece right here. Where is that little Donnie? This little safety precaution in here. Should be ready to rip. Beautiful day at the scrapyard. Haven't been here for a while. What do you mean no one's working? Yeah? Huh? <laughs> Don't Sorry. drop it in the mud. <laughs> I have me a trailer. What do you need? It's all fucked up. It's always been, dude. No, I don't remember it looking like that. Dude, what Yo. the fuck happened? What is this? No fucking way, dude. We can make it on the scale here. I gotta get this back out there and park it. That's what I gotta do. You are fucked. Totally fucked. I'm gonna try... Yes, read them the dream. Dude, so heavy. Really? <laughs> dude, no fucking way. My whole truck is falling apart right now, boys. Fell off, dude. Look at this. It fell off the truck. Do you get what I'm saying? What is that? Oh, that's, that's the okay. frame of the car. Wait, so what do you do with that now? I can't even use this truck for that trailer ever again. But Unless someone affect, welds it on there. It doesn't affect the truck, right? Not the way it drives. Yep. Alright, so the heaviest situation present that could have ever happened. Is this happened. in like fast mode or something? It's in slow motion, that's the problem. Should I change it real quick? Why do you look like your guns are fast? All right, so you guys just saw what happened, partially what happened. Um, I showed up to the scrapyard, started talking to Remy, one of the guys that works there, stopped. The whole frame of my truck fell off in the back and was just dragging behind the truck with the trailer attached to it, like halfway cocked and fucking gnarliest thing ever. Literally, if it would have happened on this road, I would have probably ruined a tr the trailer and killed somebody, possibly. So, bad scenario, but really the best case scenario that could have ever happened. The manager of the scrapyard hooked up the scrap truck 
the work truck there, weighed me out, you know, gave me my money for it and parked the trailer for us in the lot so we can just go back and get it with the Suburban. But um, the problem is we were just carrying too much weight. Uh, it was like 1,200 pounds. So we made $128. Um, I don't know how much scrap prices are at right now. Is that now. how much was in there? I couldn't even focus on anything but just getting the situation under control and not being too much of a nuisance to those guys because literally like everyone in the scrapyard was involved in the scenario and I couldn't even film any of it because I want I didn't want to be disrespectful and film the employees because I told the guy I wouldn't so I mean I got some footage of Remy but that was a must I don't know best case scenario really like you can't you gotta weigh your options. Like, if that, you know, didn't happen, yeah, great. But if it happened somewhere else, you know, that's like putting someone's life in your hands. So we gotta get the suburban to get back and get it, the trailer, um, and then it's just gonna sit for a little until I figure out what to do next. All right, this is where she lies. Uh, the guy from the scrapyard put it here with the other truck, with that white truck. We put the hitch, he had a hitch on there actually, and put it here. I'm gonna hook up to the Suburban here, and then we're rolling out of here, but uh, I would say good things happen to good people, you know? Like, I would consider myself a good person, and what happened here today was uh, gnarly, but at the same time, it was the, literally the best case scenario that could have happened, ever, so. strapped up and ready to go thank god thank god thank god what could have been the gnarliest situation ever turned into not so bad of one Whew. All right, here we are, safe and sound back at the house. Whew. Heavy, boys. Heavy. <laughs> so heavy. When is it ever light? <laughs> All right, just want to do a quick outro. We are about ready to go to sleep in like five seconds. It's late. It's like one in the morning, actually. I just wanted to end the video and say today, went pretty much as good as it could go with what happened to the truck and the trailer and everything at the scrapyard. So, you know, just be happy for situations that go wrong, but not so wrong that they endanger you or other people. So, like, it's a material item, uh, you know, fixable, replaceable, and really in the end nothing bad happened. So, again, thanks to all the guys at the scrapyard. Shout out to the boys. And best scrapyard you could ever go to with service like that. Um, pretty much that's it. I'll see you guys in the morning for some more claims. You! Good night or good morning. <laughs> Lola. Alright, peace out everyone for the dream. You! <laughs>